Welcome back for more Python for Beginners. Uh, that uh, probably the number one request that uh, Susan and I got after putting together the last set of videos was, well, for more videos. And so that's what we want to do here is give more videos. So we want to start off like we did last time with a couple of questions. So who are we? Who are you? And what is it that uh, that we're going to be doing today? So let's let's start here. Susan, who are you? Well, um, if you've watched the introduction to Python videos, and hopefully you have, if not, go back, check them out. Um, my name is Susan Iback. I also go by Hockey Geek Girl. And by the way, that is Susan Iback with a B, not iMac, which I saw several people on YouTube commenting about. Uh, and when I'm not in front of a keyboard uh, playing around with code and data, I'm uh, also a mom, a marathoner, and a thrash metal fan. Yeah, and uh, I'm uh, Christopher Harrison. I'm a, a longtime geek. I'm a program manager inside of academic ecosystems here in uh, Cloud and AI. Um, I have a propensity to tell dad jokes as well as a propensity to say the word propensity. I'm a husband marathoner um, and father of a uh, four-legged child, uh, also known as a uh, dog. She's uh, an adorable, about a, a year and a half uh, Amstaff mix. Uh, so yeah, so then uh, who are you? Well, uh, the, the target audience for this course is somebody who has gone through that Python for Beginners course and is, well, looking for, for more Python for Beginners. That was really it. That Python is obviously a, a huge topic. Uh, we weren't able to get through everything the first time. We are going to be assuming that you have some level of Python knowledge. If you don't, go check out the other videos first. Uh, before coming back to, to this one. And uh, if, if you've already done that, or maybe like, hey, I'm really curious about, say, the with statement, or I'm really curious about multiple inheritance, then you could just dive in and go f uh, choose those particular videos. That's right. You don't have to follow this particular set of videos sequentially. There's a few that, for example, like it helps to look at the classes video before you look at multiple inheritance, but you don't have to do every single module of this series. So this one is designed such that if it's something you really want to learn, you can jump into one directly. Exactly, yeah. So probably the most um, uh, common question that, that we got was, hey, you know, um, uh, what about this? What about that? Can, can, can we see coverage of this? And that really is what it is that we're trying to do here. So we want to help empower you uh, even more. We want to give you more tools for, um, for your toolbox that, you know, that old saying that the only tool that you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. That really that same thing here, that we want to show you some additional things that, uh, that you can do with Python. So that way, if you decide, hey, I want to dig a little bit deeper, that maybe I want to start looking at Django, near and dear to my heart, <laughs> um, or uh, something like that, that hopefully you'll be able to look at even more quick starts, even more tutorials, and understand what it is that's going on with that code. Yep, just trying to build your confidence and answer some of the questions you uh, you gave to us and requests that you gave to us after the first series. Yeah, so with that, let's uh, let's get in and start coding. Yeah, time to have some fun. 